from the bottom of my heart, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. For watching this guy's channel. No, Jody's like channel. Jody's Corner. No. My <laughs> favorite. <laughs>
I want to ask you something very important now. Okay. This is very important. Okay. Now, you like the first Frozen. And used to, used to, what's your favorite song from that first uh, Frozen movie? Don't lie. <gasps> Don't lie. No. <laughs> Don't lie, bro. No. Come on. Let me see. No. Say it. Say it. Tell the world no. what you used to love to do. No. <laughs> no. What was it? No. All right. I'm going to tell them for you then. No. You used to Sing hide, let it go. huh? Sing, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> no. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. No. Hey, you used to go in the room and hide. <laughs> shut your door. <laughs> turn the radio on. <laughs> let it go. I could hear it in the room. Like there he is, listening to it over and over and over. But you were a little kid back then. Come on, you were younger. But it's Let It Go is a good song, among other song songs. Let they had Let It Go. They had you know for the first time in forever. Do you want to build a snowman? Nah. There was a lot of songs, but it was only Let It Go that you liked. Got you. So, take a look at this. What are you doing? Stop. You're on camera. Look, they're looking at you, digging your armpits. I'm not. Check this out. Were the songs in Frozen Two better than the songs in Frozen One? Yes. 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 All right. They're more um, specific and interesting. They're speaking how their feelings are. Ah, that's a very good point. That's very enlightening. They're speaking and singing to their feelings based on how they are in the film. Well, you know, I think you're, uh, you'd be a great movie reviewer, son. You're doing pretty good. So before we say goodbye to you, uh, I would like you to tell the fans... Uh, one reason why they should see the film and then give it your grade. Oh, right there. Go ahead and tell them. The reason why you guys should see this film because it's more interesting than Frozen 1 and it has more interesting action than the first movie. It's In the first movie, it's Elsa going away from her village. In this movie, it's a new type of work. Uh, Elsa's helping Anna. They do... Uh, friendship together and they all help each other. Very good. And Olaf's very funny, so you should go see it. Olaf screams his head off. And actually, he does. His head comes off. <laughs> screams his head off. Literally. Screams his head off. So, uh, I think that he made you guys uh, maybe want to see this movie even more now. It's, it's amazing, son. You're, you're great. So, what, what grade would you give the film? Let me get. Let me set up a, a grade thing here for you, so you can get your own graphic. All right, tell me what grade do you want to give Frozen Two? A. A plus. Oh my gosh! A plus. Perfect. You win. Jojo gives it an A plus. That is a fantastic grade. High five, son. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to you now. See ya. Love you. Anything else you want to say before you leave? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go see the movie because um, uh, it's actually very funny and it's interesting. And this movie has a lot of action and very funny. Cool. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> All right, peace out. All right, go in the room and watch TV, son. Bye. All right, bye. Shut the door. Oh, okay. Make sure he's gone. Make sure he's gone. Shut the door. All right. <clears throat> Tell me to keep this 100. Bro. First of all, I'll let you know right now. Uh, at this mo at this point, this film, this this video is is not for kids at all. Like, leave. Goodbye. Leave. Leave. Kappa is a real thing. Goodbye. Even though it's frozen, this ain't for kids. Get the freak out. Okay. <clears throat> this film has a lot of issues. It has a lot of magical awesomeness, too. I'm going to keep it 100 here, and I'm going to be very nice in, in doing so. So I'm going to say that, you know, yes, while there are uh, 
you get more of the same characters that you love from Frozen. They all come back and they have more depth to them. And the CGI is fantastic. Everything looks good. It looks beautiful. The scope is amazing. It looks great. But I was wondering throughout this thing how this story just doesn't make sense. This story and the script. The, they, this, the fact that they came up with this script to warrant a sequel disappoints me. Because the reason for making a sequel based on this script and the story is stupid and i don't like to use that word but it literally is it's 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 so nonsensical it's so easy to pick it apart how it just doesn't work for me the um it's predictable um cliche uh i believe sven and Kristoff were kind of sidelined and the music overall in my opinion fails in comparison to the first frozen you could tell that the even, even though the the musical performances their singing their passion was next level you could tell they really cared about this movie they really wanted to come with this movie extra hard and they put lots of effort into it they did and i'll give them that and i and i felt it it's just that these hits are not hits these songs are not as catchy you know what I mean? Just, there's only one song in the entire movie that I was like, okay, I could see this, but I already forgot. I was trying so bad to remember, and I already forgot. And because I already forgot, that's a bad thing, right? And it's not Into the Unknown, and it's not the song from uh, Chris. Christoph has his own song, and it's not that one. It's it's a, it's actually a, an Anna song. I think Anna sings it. I think Elsa sings it. I forgot. A lot of blurred lines here. Complex story elements that don't mesh well. It doesn't flow. It's not a, You can tell that this was not meant to be. That this is the ultimate cash grab. And usually when cash grabs come out, you know, we have many of cash grabs. Uh, the Lion King remake, just to make one. Aladdin. A lot of the cash grabs that come out nowadays. But even still within those movies, like let's use Aladdin, for example. They managed to twist and change things up and, and tell it a little bit different to where we get something new out of it. This stands out at more as a cash grab because the story that they came up with is so weak and uninspiring and unoriginal and just confusing that it it just makes you feel like, man, this is the best story you guys could come up with to warrant a sequel? This? And then when it and it and it and it kind of takes away from the first Frozen, if I'm being 100% honest with you guys. But there is a good thing about this as well. Like I said, on top of everything I said that's good about this film, it also ties in the first film into this film. So Frozen 1 lovers will have that connection to the first Frozen. It just... Frozen is great, in my opinion. It's not the best Disney movie at all. It's not even top 10. But what makes it arguably a top 10, what makes it a great Disney film is those songs, those amazing songs and performances. Let It Go is fire. And there's not a single song in this movie to even come close to Let It Go. Lighting in the bottle, it seems that it was because he, uh, the, the the singer was put a lot of, of strain into that unknown song, Into the Unknown, Into the Unknown, nah. But overall, as a family film, it's a family film. People will love it because it's cartoony and it's got songs and it's Olaf. Olaf was the best character in the movie, uh, in my opinion. Because um, he was funny. But overall, I'm not impressed by this film and I'm kind of let down. And if I have to give Frozen 2 a grade, I give it a... I give it a D. Oh! I ate those meal! I really did not like this movie, guys. I really did not like it. Don't tell nobody, but shh, I didn't like this movie. This movie was kind of weak, to be honest. I'm disappointed in the thing. Oof, this shit, oof. Wonder Woman had nothing to worry about with this one. It's still going to make money, though. Because, you know, do I don't even, I, you know what? I don't know. These kids are kids. I was going to say, I don't think it's going to beat the first Frozen in the box office. Because it doesn't deserve to beat the first Frozen in the box office. So... Here we are, into the unknown we go. That's the review for Frozen 2. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Sub subscribe? Maybe not. If you came, if this is your first video seeing on Jody's Corner, don't subscribe. It's not probably not for you. 
Kappa is a real thing. This is not a kid's channel. I'm Joey Joe and I'm out this thing. Deuces.